three treatments, three approaches to treatment that are effective. The first one I'm going to tell you about is called the Soteria House. Soteria House operated in the San Francisco Bay Area between 1971 and 1983. It was the brainchild of a psychiatrist named Lauren Mosier. He was the head of the schizophrenia unit for the National Institute of Mental Health in Washington, D.C. And he wanted to try this out. And so the Soteria House was a home-like residence, six beds. It was staffed by a licensed clinician who was the head of it, a psychologist. But the rest of the staff were uncredentialed people. They were young people, basically, who were interested in mental health. They were people who were able to relate to people who were in psychotic states, who were bizarre, saying strange things, acting in strange ways. They were able to relate to those people. Um, so it was designed for people in their first break. And I think this is an important point. The Soteria House was designed for people between the ages of 16 and 22, 23, experiencing their first break, first psychotic episode. And the message people got when they went to Soteria was, come on in, you can stay here as long as you want. We're not going to put any pressure on you to get better. We're not going to put pressure on you to go back to where you were. What we're going to do is help you go through this experience. You have fallen into a psychotic state, and there must be some meaning to it. This must have something to do with your life or yourself. And we're going to help you go through this experience in a safe place. It's going to be safe physically and psychologically. And so what we're going to do is we're going to affirm you. We're going to be connected with you. Our treatment modality is relationship. It's relationship. We are going to be related to you in an affirming way, support you and help you go through this experience. So, what happened? People would stabilize in about six weeks. The average people, the average stay was about five to six months. People would stay there five to six months. There was no treatment at the residents. But as people got less afraid, less agitated, um, less bizarre, let's say, less disorganized, they would begin to go out into the community. So they'd take a class, or they might uh, get some supportive employment, or they might go into therapy, they might get into a support group. They would begin to get involved in the community. So. Uh, a very good study was done comparing the people who were, who were treated at Soteria with people who were treated in the hospital in a more conventional way with drugs. Now, drugs were not the, they were not the primary modality of treatment at Soteria. 56% of the residents of Soteria had been on drugs. Only 16% were kept on the drugs. But they had a contract with a psychiatrist. So if a person needed a drug, the drugs, they could get them. But that was not the primary modality. The modality of treatment was relationship and support, helping go through the experience. So a good study was done, and it turned out that if you went and checked these people out one year and two years after they had been at Soteria or in the hospital, the ones who were treated at Soteria were doing better significantly better in terms of symptoms, social functioning, employment, rehospitalizations. But despite that, despite the fact that this worked, if you want to put it that way, the National Institute of Mental Health shut it down. They shut it down in 1983. And the man who started it, Lauren Moser, was drummed out of the National Institute of Mental Health. He was kicked out because that's not the way psychiatry was going. 
Psychiatry was going towards drugs. They were going to become a laboratory science. They weren't going to pay attention to anything they couldn't quantify, measure, see on a brain scan, see in the laboratory. So by doing that, of course, they turned their back on human beings because you can't measure the important things to human beings in a laboratory. Because what's important to human beings is love, being connected to other people, and expressing themselves using their abilities in satisfying ways. Achievement, mastery, being connected, enjoying life. You can't measure that in a laboratory. So this is what happened. So there have been solitary houses in Europe. There was one in Alaska from 2010 to 2015 in Anchorage, Alaska. And um, it did pretty well, but was basically abandoned because the board, there were some financial problems and the board lost faith in the, in the model. Now, it's very difficult to run this kind of a treatment facility in this country in this day and age because it's so different from the standard of care. And it's impossible to get people in first break. Because people in first break go to the emergency room and they get immediately, they get immediately um, into the primary system, the standard of care, so they're immediately told they have a brain disorder and they're drugged. And so it's very hard to get people in first episode. Okay, so that's Soteria. Oh, and by the way, there is a Soteria house in Vermont now. It's called Soteria Vermont. It's financed by the state of Vermont. And the director, her name is Hillary Melton. And if you, if you want to talk to her, she'd be glad to talk to anybody, I think. Uh, the name of the outfit that runs Soteria Vermont is Pathways Vermont. And if you Google Pathways Vermont, you can get their telephone number and you can talk to Hillary Melton about Soteria Vermont. <coughs> 